Hello again, my royal scientists. Princess Alernia here, ready to shine more light on our communication adventures. Before we start our lesson, I want to share a story about making new friends in the Argo Prep castle. Recently, a new family moved into our kingdom, and their child, Alex, was feeling a bit lonely and scared. I remembered how it feels to be the new person, so I decided to help. I invited Alex to join me and my friends for a fun science experiment. At first, Alex was shy and did not want to participate. So I asked Alex what kind of things they like to do for fun. It turned out we both loved music. We talked about our favorite songs and artists and soon Alex was laughing and was very excited to join our science experiment. By the end of the day, Alex had made new friends and felt much more at home in our kingdom. I learned that sometimes all it takes to make a new friend is to find something you both enjoy. When we're kind and show interest in others, we can build wonderful friendships and have more fun learning together. Today, in this video, we're going to discover different devices that use light to communicate, how these devices work, and when and why we should use these light communication devices. Let's start with some devices that use light to communicate. Here are a few examples. Example 1. Signal lamps. Signal lamps are powerful lights used on ships to send messages. Example 2. Morse code flashlights. Morse code uses patterns of long and short flashes to spell out words. Example 3. Traffic lights. Traffic lights use different colored lights to tell drivers what to do. For example, red means to stop and green means to go. Now let's try a fun experiment where we use light to communicate using Morse code. Now let me tell you a quick story. Long ago, before we had phones or computers, people needed a way to send messages over long distances quickly. So a clever man named Samuel Morse invented a code using dots and dashes to represent letters. Morse code was super important. It helped send emergency messages from ships at sea. It helped communicate secret messages during wars and also share news across countries faster than ever before. Back then, people used special machines to send these dots and dash signals over wires or they used lights to flash the signals at night. Even today, some people still use Morse code in emergencies or just for fun. And today, we'll be doing this for fun. In this experiment, you will need a flashlight, a piece of paper, a pencil, and a grown-up helper. Here's what we're going to do. Step 1. We're going to learn a super simple version of Morse code using light. We're going to use short flashes and long flashes. Step 2. On your paper, draw a dot for a short flash and a dash for a long flash. Take a look at the screen. A dot represents a short flash and a dash represents a long flash. Now, step three, let's learn two specific letters. The letter S can be noted as three short flashes. So on your piece of paper, go ahead and draw three dots to represent the letter S. Now, let's go ahead and learn about the letter O. To represent the letter O, we're going to use three long dashes. So that represents three long flashes. Go ahead and write that down on your piece of paper. Now, I want you to practice making these letters with your flashlight. Remember, a short flash is quick, like saying beep. And a long flash is slower, like saying beep. Now, try to spell S-O-S with your flashlight. Take a look at the screen. We have three dots followed by three dashes followed by three dots. Go ahead and try that now. Great work! Did you know that SOS is a famous distress signal used all over the world? That means that we need help. 
Go ahead and pause this video and continue to try to spell SOS with your flashlight using Morse code. Amazing work! Let's recap what we learned today. There are many devices that use light to communicate. These devices work by sending light in a specific pattern or color. And finally, we use light communication in many different situations, from everyday traffic control to emergency situations. Fantastic! Now let's go ahead and earn your Argo Star with a quick light dance. I want you to turn on your flashlight and dance as silly as you want for 15 seconds. What an amazing dancer you are! You've earned your Ardo star! I'll see you in the next video! This is Princess Lernia signing off with a royal glow.